Hi everyone, this is Dom with DEK Designs and we're gonna plan the week of February 6th um, in my A5 Aurora Estelle and Annie Plans Printable Weekly Vertical. Um, I also use the Weekly Essential and I do my monthly in the weekly essential. Okay, so let's get to the week. This is how last week turned out. And now we are on to the week of February 6th. I'm using our um, February mystery kit. And there is an unboxing reveal on our channel of this kit. So I'm going to get going with laying the dates down first. Oh, maybe I don't have them. These are all like leftover sheets. Oh, I do. Okay. And I just kind of center them here in the middle. Hope everyone is doing well. We actually have pretty nice weather today. And this is today, Sunday the 5th. So I think Katie and I are gonna actually um, run to Michael's today. We were gonna go to Hobby Lobby because um, we got some gift cards from our very lovely customer service, Charlotte, but they are not open on Sundays. Okay, let's get the dates down. I like to put my dates right above the numbers. So, Monday is the 6th. So these next few weeks, I'm going to be full time on the box. I've actually already started it um, today. I am printing and cutting away in the other room on our um, large cutter. That reminds me, I should probably do a, it's been a long time, I should probably do like a an update on what our office space looks like and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put over here this week. Right in the middle. And I'll come back and add deco and stuff later. So for my sidebar, I'm gonna use one of the boxes. Let's use this pretty one. Uh, you know, I should probably line that up with a line because it'll be easier for me to do the, the layout. So I'm just going to line it up with this little graph line right here. I doubt that you can probably see it on video. And it'll just be easier for me. should be easier for me. <laughs> so something's crooked. It's probably the sticker, but I'm going to just make this work with it. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Now a glitter box. Our header. 
whatever you want to call them. And then I'm going to do my meals. And then our, uh, let's see, this is the new layout. So I'm a little fumbly trying to find the right stickers. And then another glitter. And I'm gonna put down a couple habit trackers this week. Um, where are those at? Those are over here. You know what, I'm just gonna use one and then I'm gonna um, put a graph down. I should put that down at the bottom to um, track my hours that I sleep. Okay, I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna put a box behind it. Let's see. What should I put behind it? Something, something. What do I want? I'm just gonna put this extra label that comes with the date covers. Right behind it. Okay. So I'm going to do my um, thing that I'll be on all week like I did last week when I had the design down. So I'm going to take a label box and one of the long washi strips. So let's see here. I'll just use this. And a washi strip. Oh, let's see. I don't have my. I'll use one of these. Um, my washi cutter is not in this room, it's in the other room. So I'm going to use one of these stencils from Archer and Olive to cut my washi. and get it lined up right. Okay. And then I'll continue it over here, the same color box. And washi. So then I know my main task all week long, it's an ongoing task, is going to be the set box. I'll probably work on it on the weekend as well, but I'm not going to, well, maybe I should. I should track it because I'll be cutting over the weekend. It takes a long time to cut all the kits. Okay. I'm also um, going to do like every other one, one of the scallops. Just because I love them and they're gorgeous and yeah. Let's see. It's Monday, so I should probably do it on this one. Oh, I didn't want them to match the date, so I'm going to switch these around. So the colors are different. Okay. 
now I'm going to start laying down some of the or the full boxes and the washi. I know I want to use one of these gorgeous girls. And I think I'm going to put her... Well, let's put her right over here. With a glitter header. She's so pretty. Um, and then I want to get... Um, the washi down. I'm going to alternate it. So we've been pretty busy over here. Um, we have our a $2 Tuesday coming up this week. And it's our first one since 2019. So we thought we would bring it back to the shop and see how everyone likes it. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah. I'm bring this all the way down to the washi. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to bring back some of our old um, popular $2 or quarter sheets and mark them down to $2. I know we're doing um, the foiled... Um, icons that we had that did really well. We've already started cutting those for Tuesday. Does that look right? No. Right there. So yeah, lots of stuff going on. This flower is really pretty. And I have room for another one over here. I think this would look best and flow with it. I'm going to make it even with this other box over here. And use that color. I think that looks pretty cohesive. I need something under here. So what should I use? You know what, I think that on those days I'm gonna put some three heart checklists where I don't have the, that should work. That works. Mm. 
I don't know if I want to use that dark color. Yeah. Okay. Then let's put some more boxes down. They are so beautiful. I'm just matching from the other side. Where the boxes were. Looks like right about there. I did, but there was a, okay, so I'm going to put this down here because I don't want it to be two in a row. I would do two in a row if it was like a seam, but it's not. So we will go this route. That's a boo-boo because the um, the color variations. So when we design in Illustrator and we bring images in, sometimes the artist doesn't get all the background noise off of it. And so we have to um, trace and detach it and all that. And otherwise you get these two different colors within the box. It's just a, a weird phenomenon type thing. I think, I'm, I'm not sure, but it happens more than we like. Okay, then I'm going to use another girl over here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to write in here box, and then I'm going to stick some quarter sheets down. Box production. And this is going to be sleep. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm going to go three hours, four, five, six, seven, and nine. I love it. Love it. Okay. 
I really want to put a weekend banner down here. So these are sized to go over two one and a half inch wide boxes um, with the weekend banner, but I'm using an Aurora Stell, so let's see how this goes. I just kind of um, stagger them to get more of that true banner look. Okay. And then I will put the weekend over it. Just kind of centering it. I think that looks good. Okay. So let's see. I have a plant on here and I want to remind myself to water plants on Wednesday. I put I do put this in my planner every week because I forget. And they all look so pretty, I don't want to kill them. Okay. I'm gonna put a checklist around the days that I don't have the box checklist. So let's go with this deep color. And put it right there. And put another one over here. here and do the same thing. I don't follow the boxes on this planner. I just use the graph to line stuff up. So it kind of does all kind of meshes in together. Okay. So I will, I want a couple accents or boxes to mark important stuff that comes up during the week. And I love using these hexagons and layering them. I'm gonna put a box right here. cute little squares and the other box over here and I need some kind of a box down here let's see I think I'm gonna layer a box with some deco and I'm going to use one of their round boxes and put it there and have some deco behind it. Oh, that looks really pretty. Okay, I think this is a little blank and I'm going to put another um, box over here. With a rose. I 
I don't want it touching the washi. Okay, let's see. Where do I want it? This is what I love about these stickers. They're so easy to take up off the paper. Oh, that looks pretty pretty. Okay, I'm going to put some boxes down over here. And let's do the same kind of style over here. And then another long box down over here. I went up to the third. Let's see. I'm going to use a planner because I'll be filming on Sunday. That looks great. Let's do something right here. I'm going to put it on top of the box this time. I think that'll look better for that sticker. And one there and one there. And there will be stuff will come up in the week and I'm going to want to write in it. That's pretty. Oh, I just, I love it. It's so pretty. Um, I'm gonna end this with a piece of deco. love tag and I'm gonna put something up here what should I put maybe a February so I do have a February script in rose gold and what do I want for the background hmm decisions decisions I think I'm just going to use some glitter headers. Maybe one more. They're a little crooked. I'm going to put February up there. Oh, it's really pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, and then I have plenty of room to write. I have plenty of boxes to mark significant stuff. I have task lists. I think we're good to go. Um, I might add some more deco up in here between the boxes. Because why not? <laughs> and there we have it. I love it. 
I hope you found some inspiration or ideas to use with your planner. And I thank you kindly for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next week.